Hi, in this video you're going to be shown how to make a new drawing from an existing cat part. First, create a new file. A box like this one will then appear. Select Drawing. Initially, select a paper size for the drawing. If you don't know which paper size to use, don't worry about it. We can change this later if needed. You will see this screen. Note how both the screen and the icons around the edges have changed from the part workbench. This is the drafting workbench. Right click on sheet 1 in the tree and select properties. Then look for projection method and tick the third angle projection option. As you can see, the background of the drawing is still quite blank. We need to insert a background sheet. To do this, go to File, Page Setup and click Insert Background View. Search for a drawing border you want to use. In this case, we're using the UCL A0 template. Click Open, Insert and lastly OK. As we have said before, it is important to be organised with your files. Always save the drawing with the same name as the part. You may see a grid on your screen, but clicking the grid icon can turn it off if you want to. Now the front view can be created. Choose this view wisely as it will affect the whole drawing. Select the front tool, then switch over to the 3D part. Here the datum plane for the front view can be chosen. You can get a small preview when hovering the cursor over the part. This can then be manipulated using the compass tool. Once you are happy with the view, click anywhere on the screen. The view is created. Now right click on the border of the view or on the tree and select properties. The dress up features such as axis, threads and hidden lines can be adjusted for each view. For this drawing, select these features and uncheck the fillet as it is confusing and takes away from the more important features. Now construct the left and bottom view from the front view using the projection view tool. Then use the auxiliary view tool to create the auxiliary view. To make the drawing tidier and give more space for dimensioning, remove all the view labels except for auxiliary and section view. Section views will be explained in a later video. We'll stop there and continue in the next video. Bye for now.